The only thing they could tell me was that there wasn't a cure and that it would have it was going to shorten my lifespan. They thought I was dying. They were spending the night there. Everybody was taking shifts to stay with me. It is like a death sentence, but you, I try not to view it like that. It's a silent killer and it's going on all the time. PNH is short for paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. And basically it's the breaking up of the red blood cells by the immune system in one's body. So your spleen, your kidney, your liver, it now has extra waste in it that is just building up. Your kidneys are being overloaded with uh, trying to filter out all the hemoglobin and the kidneys go into shutdown mode. Uh, the same thing can happen to the liver and the spleen. But the biggest cause of death is the blood clots in the veins. Which can be the fatal part of the PNH is the clotting thrombosis. A lot of people get it in their legs and um, mine decided to attack my intestinal tract so I had portions of the intestine taken out because of clots. In actual fact, I can die tomorrow from a blood clot. Yeah, I, you know, luck of the draw. This disease kills, and untreated, it will kill people. Once they, um, they started the Solaris, then uh, I, was, I, I was free of clots, and it was just amazing. Day after day, it just got better and better and better, and here I am now, uh, out of the hospital. Being on Solaris definitely makes me feel like I have my life back. There's no question about it. I'm living proof and example right here, right now, that it's working. I feel great. I don't have to worry about clotting anymore, and uh, that's a, that was really a godsend. I have to wait till I'm in danger of losing an organ, a limb, or my life before the province will help me. Solaris is funded and approved in the United States in the UK, in most of the EU countries, Japan, Australia, but not in Canada. It's too bad you have to be on death's door to, um, to receive it. No one should have to beg for their life in that situation. I hardly had any energy to beg for my life in that situation. My father and my family had to fight tooth and nail for me. I cannot believe that Canada would uh, the medical system would let that happen to someone when there is something that they can do about it. I, I, I just can't believe that they could let it happen. I mean, I, I wouldn't let it happen to someone, so why would they?